George Mercer was born August 31st, 1944 in Missouri. He grew up to become the president of two motorcycle clubs, the Rancid Riders and the Missing Links. George Tiny Mercer also had a history of violence against women. Karen Keaton was born on Christmas Eve, 1955 in Independence, Missouri. She graduated from high school in 1974 and in 1978, she was working at the Blue Seven Lounge as a waitress. On August 30th, 1978, Karen was working at the Blue Seven Lounge when Tiny and some of his associates came in to have drinks. Unfortunately for Miss Keaton, she had caught Tiny's eye. He mentioned to his associate, Stephen Gardner, that he would like to have relations with the young woman. Stephen Gardner was already acquainted with Karen Keaton. He approached her at the bar, and after a brief conversation, he returned to Tiny and let him know that he would be taking Miss Keaton to breakfast, and afterwards, they would come by Tiny's place in Belton. Tiny and his buddy David Gee head back to Tiny's place in Belton, Missouri, where John Campbell is babysitting Tiny's 10-year-old daughter. Karen Keaton finished her last shift and left with Stephen Gardner. August 31st, 1978, was Tiny's 34th birthday. The guys were still up partying when Gardner showed up with Keaton. After the group exchanged pleasantries, Tiny pulled out a sawed-off double-barrel shotgun and told Karen to get her ass upstairs. If Karen thought that Stephen Gardner was going to help her, she was mistaken. He just told Tiny happy birthday and called seconds. While Mercer was assaulting Karen, Gardner was stashing her clothes and helping himself to the money in her pocketbook. When Mercer was finished, Gardner took his turn, followed by David Gee. They took turns assaulting Karen for hours. She was raped, sodomized, and forced to perform oral sex. After Mercer, Gardner, and, and Gee have all assaulted Karen, they sent John Campbell upstairs. Everyone needed to be complicit in the crime. Karen was naked and crying. Campbell said that he tried to console her as best he could before going back downstairs and laying down on the couch. With the big birthday bash winding down, Tiny asked Gardner what he wanted him to do with Keaton. Gardner told Tiny to kill her and asked him if he needed help. Tiny said that he didn't. But he really did. Tiny said that he didn't, and so Gardner and Gee left. In the early morning hours, Tiny called Campbell upstairs. Camp when Campbell got upstairs, Tiny was straddling Karen, strangling her. He told Campbell to take her pulse, and Campbell replied that she still had a faint pulse. Tiny got frustrated and began hitting her in the head. He continued to strangle her until the life finally left her body. At which point, he told Campbell to clean up the mess. She had lost control of her bowels. Mercer and Campbell loaded up Karen's body in the back of Campbell's truck and dumped her in a field. With the cooperation of John Campbell, both Tiny Mercer and Stephen Gardner were convicted of capital murder. Gardner received life in prison, and Mercer received the death penalty. Mercer would spend the last several hours of his life in this tiny cell, waiting to die by lethal injection at Missouri State Penitentiary in Jefferson City, Missouri.